Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran and I've been playing my Combat Rogue in the beta a lot. I am not going to make a guide on Combat Rogue for Warlords General until the game is in true release and all the beta changes have been set in stone, but it does not hurt for us to talk about the different options we have when playing our Combat Rogue. Now when I'm going to be talking about the Combat Rogue PvP, I'm talking about arena setting for the most part. So I'm going to give you my opinion of the most viable stats, talents and glyphs to build for and hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get on to it. Right now haste is a viable stat for combat rogues since the changes to our energy pool, our energy, the way we generate our insight and combat potency. Combat potency we gain 5% more haste from all of our gear so it's way more possible to stack haste because we'll get more of it in the end return. Another reason you will stack haste is because we need to get those sinister strikes out there. The quicker we get those sinister strikes the faster we can advance to insight. Since our energy cap default is capped at 100, having our energy recover faster makes us focus more on sinister strikes and therefore damage is dependent on sinister strikes. But it does allow us to advance through insight that much faster if we stack haste. So haste is one viable option. Now mastery is another option for combat rogues, which is the option I've been rolling with from Pandaria and onto Warlords of Genoa. Mastery allows us to be less reliant on sin strikes for damage as it has filler damage within between our attacks. It also benefits from combat potency. I looked it up and did heavy research and from Wowhead to other websites, it does confirm that mastery does benefit from common potency, so it does generate 15 energy on hit. So in a way we do generate energy from mastery just like with haste, just in a different fashion. Also with improved dual wield, we no longer have any penalty for our auto attacks, that means we don't have a chance to miss with our auto attacks, increasing our chance from mastery, if you do the math correctly. One benefit we have from mastery over haste is that mastery procs during killing sprees even a deep insight, while haste doesn't quite benefit either a killing spree or deep insight during killing spree. The other three stats that we have are critical strike, multi strike and versatility, which I have tried to stack but there is no way that Comet Rogue can quite benefit out of them to the full potential. While we do grant our party members and raid members 5% extra haste and 5% extra multi-strike, multi-strike crit and versatility don't quite have any specific use for the spec of Comet Rogue. They're a side stat and they're okay to stack, either one of them is fine, but the main focus should either be between haste or mastery from my findings on the beta. When we take a look at our passes as well as enhanced and empowered abilities just to see where combat rogues playstyles should be at, we see combat potency give us 5% more haste from all of our gear but it doesn't quite direct us to anything. On the other hand, empowered bandits guile makes our deep insight 20% stronger. That means we gotta reach deep insight in order to deal 50% extra damage which is crucial. And also with improved dual wield, we cannot miss with our auto attacks. This tells me that as a combat rogue, you should have as much melee uptime on your target, whether it be a healer, whether it be a caster or a melee, you should have as much uptime on them in order to deal the maximum amounts of damage possible. This is the exact build that I'm running right now on the Warlords or Geno Beta. I'm focusing on the arena playstyle as well as a peel mode mechanic to Combat Rogue with Nerf Strike which has been buffed to 50% rather than 25, making our opponents after stun hit 50% less damage. For our mobility abilities, I usually prefer Burst of Speed but now Shadow Step is just as viable since Burst of Speed has been nerfed and now costs 30 energy rather than 15. So now for a Combat Rogue, it takes out the energy where you could be using Sensor Strikes or even something as costly as a Gouge. But for our 75 field, we have two options, Prayer in the Weak or Internal Bleeding. While Prayer in the Weak is still a group utility ability, Prayer on Eternal Bleeding is extremely potent for combat rogues, it is a lot of bleed damage and it scales with our insight, so those two I'm not quite sure which one to run with. Now the level 100 talents for combat rogues for me are up for debate, I can definitely see all three of them be utilized to the full potential. Venom Master can be used in a haze build in order to generate the ridiculous amounts of energy. Right now I'm using Shadow Reflection in order to increase my CC ability as well as give myself extra damage if I'm going for a burst, but I can definitely see Death from Above at Deepest Insight go from a kiln spree right into a 5 column point reveal and strike Death from Above and down goes Vinruki. So all of them are optional. Now let's hit the glyphs really lightly because for most part they haven't changed when it comes to combat ropes. I'm still running glyph of cheap shot in order to increase the cheap shot duration when peeling for my friendlies which is even greatly impacted with a nerf strike that rolls after using cheap shot. 
Lethal Blind is still a good staple ability. It allows us to CC our targets and clear all the dots so those dots do not break our CC chains with Blind and other CC spells. Glyph of Disappearance allows our Vanish to be a 1 minute cooldown which is great for defensive style of gameplay but also causes us to have to re-stealth which isn't too much of an issue. Then we have Glyph of Energy which is what I've been rolling with since our energy cap is at 100. I'm increasing it by 20 in order to have more stable and more viable openers because I'll have extra energy to mess with. And Glyph of Growth is great against a caster based team. Now these are the glyphs that I find good for a PvP arena setting. So when it comes to duels and battlegrounds, there might be different viable options. And for the most part, none of them are too set in stone because you can still play around any way you want to as a combat rogue without the need for Glyph of Blind, Cheap Shot, or even Energy. Now guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about all these theory crafting ideas about the stats, talents, and glyphs viable for combat rogue when it comes to PvP. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. I gotta go back to studying combat rogue even more in depth to try to bring you guys the best and most accurate content I can. Hope you guys are having a good one. I'll see you guys.